Hello YouTube, this is the Pokemon Manic. Skyfire that is. Welcome you back to another Pokemon Black and White Wi-Fi Battle video. This battle is against Super 64 from uh, that Pokemon Wi-Fi room. If you want to know more about it, just go to the description and you will see a link to go on the map there. Anyways, as far as the team, none major. Just so look like a regular battle. It was sort of okay, but only two Pokemon did some good, and of course you see an, a very, very interesting one that's been doing some good stuff. Those two Pokemon, well, you'll see what I mean. Did I just start the battle? I'll give you a little spoiler, thing I? Yeah, pretty much. I guess that's how it is. <laughs> Anyways. This was interesting because I started off with my Romeo Plane, that's my wish can, and he comes in with an Electro. Oh, bad timing, isn't it? And that's even worse timing because he uses a Protect thing and I'm about to use a move. Uh, yeah. Uh, that would be a Dragon Dance. I pondered if he was going to try and do an Electric move, but I really didn't give much of a chance to do that because I used an Earthquake. I could have did a second Dragon Dance, but I decided, mmm, not really. Well, anyway, that electro is gone just like that. So he reads in swell. Uh, well, I have a stone in swing for those flying types. Gotta figure out what I'm gonna do earth quick all day. But that didn't matter, swirl's gone. Okay, so he brings his flag on, I'm like, oh uh, yeah. This is the one time I wish that, that I had an ice move on this wish cast, which I don't. I should see if he learns a nice move, probably like Avalanche or something like that. I'm not too sure, but uh, I did what I can. Whoa, that was close. After that outrage, I'm like, oh boy, what's going to be a one hit KO? Well, he survived the 56 HP, I'm like, okay. So one more waterfall puts that flag on down. Okay. So like, all's good so far. I said so far for a reason. Why? Here comes a salamence. So that plus one that I had in attack, well that's gone. So I used the stone edge. It came out with a little about three fourths. And he went for a fly, I'm like, hmm. That's interesting. I think he probably has a good attack. So I figured any move that I do is going to miss, so I was going to use a Dragon Dance just in case the fly missed. And the fly actually connected. I was like, crap, couldn't it miss? Because I still wanted Romeo Plank to survive. But, that didn't work, so, oh well. So, I bring in the guy of the hour. That would be Henry Ruff. He went for Zen Headbutt. Really? Really? Zen Headbutt? Uh, did he know that Scrappy's a dark type? Really? Maybe a fly with it and do it again? But, oh well. I went for Ice Punch, and that pretty much is gone for Salamence. And here we go with the Moxie. This is the one thing that pretty much franchises my, my Henry Ruff, is that Moxie. He raised in a Hitmon Toss. Oops, sorry, I did that wrong. That would be a hit one chance. No, no, I'm wrong again. That's a hit one Lee. I've got hit one Lee, cakes, cakes. Didn't matter anyway, I just used the high jump kick to get the kicking. <laughs> and he's gone. So in that case, he raises the cardio, uh, I was like, extreme speed, really? That was interesting. How many guys you got life orbs? I know the Salamis had one, and now this one? 
one well, well, after the high jump kid that pretty much with that now. So that's it for that. And more Moxie. Oh come on here, bro. Why do you need that? It's a game already. Well nothing too big on that one. Just two Pokemon. Heavy rough and Romeo Plank. So that was rather interesting. Anyways, good game, the Super 64. I'm still laughing about how he thought that, I, that it was a hack on that scrapper because he didn't know the dark type. Hey, I don't know. It, I just know that Zen Headbutt doesn't work on a scrappy. Even if it is part fighting. Well, anyways, rate, comment, subscribe as you always do. This is the Pokemon the Max Skyfire saying have a nice day and see you next time.